Welcome. Today we are on part four of my tarot deck collection. So I hope you've been able to join me for the previous parts and I hope you're in for the long ride because there's definitely at least going to be a part five because I have a lot of decks. So without further ado, let's um, get right in. The first one is a majors only. This is a cult ornithology. I, oh man, I love this deck so much. Not super keen on majors only decks as a whole, but look at these backs. Um, I absolutely had to go for this deck. I'm, I'm so glad I did. It is just incredibly beautiful, incredibly evocative. And um, as far as I know, she doesn't have plans to make this a complete deck, but boy, I really, really wish she would. The cardstock is incredible. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. And um, it did come, actually, let me show you. It came with, with a really nice book. Um, and the thing that I like about it is it you know first it's got that beautiful image and but in addition to talking about um you know what what the card represents it talks about the birds and it it really shows the connection between the bird and the card so i really appreciate that you know i like birds i don't i'm definitely not a um an expert by any means but this is just just a wonderful wonderful deck and I believe um, this is by KS Whittle I believe she's working on a new deck and this one will be a full deck it's not it's not this um, but she's such an amazing artist I really look forward to anything and, and everything else that she creates so yeah, I, I love this. This is one that, even though it's only, well, it's majors only, um, I just uh, will always have this deck. And since we're on majors only, this is the Becoming Tarot. Now this one is in the works to be a complete deck, you know, um, but I absolutely couldn't wait for that. I had to, I had to get it right away and I'm so glad I did. The artwork is just everything, and um, there's such a depth of feeling that goes along with this, and um, I just, I really love it, and um, it just makes me happy. You know, I love, I love the art style. I love the thought that went into each card. This is my. Um, it's just really, really wonderful, and I cannot wait. Look at this death card. I mean, really. Sorry about this, son. It's not cooperating with me today. There's another one. Um, I just, I, I love it so much. I love the size. I love the shape. I love the backs. It's just a fabulous, fabulous deck. And then we have the Curious Travels Tarot deck. Now this, you, you're going to be hearing this a lot today, I think, but this is one of my favorite decks. Um, this was a, a Kickstarter. Um, oh, and the, the Becoming Tarot is still available. Um, I think... Mm, I'm not sure about the uh, occult ornithology. I'm not sure about this one. This was a Kickstarter. Um, you might still be able to get it, though. These are the backs. I am so charmed by this deck. It's just... It's, it's very different in all the right ways. Um, 
I, I really, I get drawn in, and, uh, it's just, oh man, this is, this is one that I reach for again, and again, and again, and I use it for myself, I use it for other people, um, I just absolutely love it. And it feels what is that nice soft buttery feel to the cards. And I'm not a big primate person, but that's okay. Um <laughs> still three swords in the heart. I just want a deck that does something different for that card. That's all I'm saying. And I, I do have some and we will absolutely get some. Love this though. Love it love her man she's beautiful and i just i can feel the the earthiness of the adventure and it's just a wonderful deck and uh yeah i got look at that strength it's beautiful so um <clears throat> i love this too it's just oh man it's just a great deck it's a really really great deck so and that is the curious travels tower deck and next we have the tarot of the holy light and this deck I did trim and edge. So, see, I, I did, well, let me get this one. I did cut a significant bit off. Um, I just like it better this way. Love the backs. So then I did, I did edge up. This is a great deck. Um, also, it just, there's so much going on, there's so much symbolism, there's so much to, um, to, to focus on and, and to pick out, and I love that it's so easy to, you know, if, if I were to pull the same card ten times in a row, I might get ten different um, experiences and, and, and ten different meanings easily, like really easily. Um, the only thing that there's a lot of, um, well, we'll get to it. I'll show you. Love this. Um, yeah, I. I could do without this. It's just kind of, eh. but it's okay because aside from that, I mean, look at the colors are so vibrant and just so powerful. They lend power to the cards to me. Um, I, I mean, there's, uh, yeah, I could get lost in these cards for hours and, and I have. Um, I, I don't tend to use this for other people. Um, I think I would depend, see, again, like, stop with that. But, but that's just me. Some people might not, but it, yeah, I, I don't care for that. But that's really the only thing that, and, and again, you know, it's only in a couple cards, and, um, I can... You know, I can deal with it. Well, even there. Say, what is that? But, I'm just saying. Um, okay, it's in more than, more than a couple. But still, even even despite that, I don't, I don't care for it. But I love everything else. I mean, everything else about this deck. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's an amazing deck. There's a lot, a lot going on. And a lot you can draw from. And it's, it's incredibly evocative. 
and it's really just a fabulous, fabulous deck. So, and then next we have the painted tarot. Now this is one I haven't used as much as the others, only because I got it more recently. This was one that was kind of on my list for a while. Um, so the backs. I don't know what took me so long to get this deck because it really, I mean, it was it was on there for a long time. Um, it's a fabulous deck. I really enjoy it. It's. I think maybe, um, it, you know, it's different from my other decks, but I like that. But I think because the people are so, you know, they're really the focus of, you know, pretty much all the cards. So I think maybe I thought that I wouldn't get along with the deck as well because of that. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm so glad I got it. Really, really enjoy it. Um, I think that this is a great deck uh, to use for for myself and for other people. Um, although I haven't used it for other... Well, did I? Maybe. Maybe like one or two people. But it's not one I tend to um, necessarily reach for right away. But, um, you know, for others. But I... I absolutely would like I I think this would read really well for them I love that it's like it's almost like you're you're gazing at them through water you know or or like a veil uh, it's just it's just a lovely lovely deck um, it's a bit more simple maybe that was it you know there's not a lot of of um, symbolism especially you know the traditional stuff um but it's expressed to me in in the in the artistry of it you know you can feel the energy just from i don't know if it's the the paint strokes or you know i mean absolutely the the color choices but i don't know it they somehow manage to just Create everything you need to feel with with kind of simple images. They're not created simply, you know what I mean? But you know, you just have a few a few items going. I mean, there are under underneath or, or within um, there are layers. So maybe that's part of how it it kind of creates that power. I don't know. I don't know. But I really, really love this deck. Um, and I just feel like it feels almost like a there's like a rawness to it that I really enjoy. Love this so much. But, yeah. So this one's a bit newer to me. Um, but I, I really enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I'm so glad I, I finally got it. And now, let's do the Shimmering Veil. So the Shimmering Veil Tarot um, is a, oh man, this deck is incredible. Now this is the first edition think. Well, it's definitely not um, the later edition, because I, I think there are two. I could be wrong. But this is an earlier edition. The new one has holographic edges. I'm really kind of tempted. I don't, I don't even know if it's still available, but um, I, I edged this. Love the backs. This, man, this deck is so so, so incredibly evocative, and it's so, 
it's almost got like this sort of primal voice, you know? This deck bypasses the conscious mind and goes directly to the unconscious and just, it speaks so powerfully and clearly. This is, look, if, if you're um, like a newer reader and, uh, and you've been focusing on like RWS and, and learning by the books and you want to increase your intuition, this is the deck to get. This will help you so much because you can't help but to feel when you look at these cards, at least I can. And, you know, that your intuition speaks in feelings. And, um, yeah, I, I can't recommend this deck enough. I think that if, if you are newer and you're kind of intimidated because you're like, oh, this doesn't look like, you know, um, like a, like a regular RWS, um, I, oh man, this, this card, I, you're not going to need, you're not going to need a book with this. It does come with a book. It does. But you don't need it. You really, really don't. This, this deck makes it so easy to just feel. And, um, yeah, I really, really adore this deck. And I do use this, um, for others. I find that um, especially in larger spreads, it just, it just works so, so nicely. And, um, it's great in that it, it helps draw my clients in, you know? Um, so I, I think this is a wonderful deck to use for, for readings for others, or for yourself, definitely for yourself, um, but yeah, I just, I mean, we could do this all day, and I won't, <laughs> I won't do that to you, but, um, man, it's such a great deck, and it's interesting, like, this card, so, the first time I saw this card, I see different things every time I look at it. Like, the first time I saw it, it was like this waterfall, right? And it was going to the cave. And, and um, to me, seeing that, you know, this was this is reminiscent of the hermit, even though I didn't see him. And then I looked at it again. I'm like, oh, this is the hermit, right? Here's his, here's his lantern. And, and that's a very different feeling, right? From, from him being hidden away in that cave, completely within, to here, he's, he's larger than everything. You know, even the castle, I mean, it's in the distance, but he's so much bigger. And so, yeah, I, every time, or, or pretty close, every time I use this deck, I just see and, and get different things from it. And I've had this one for a couple of years, I guess. Uh, it's got to be at least two, three years, I think. Um, and I, I absolutely adore it. Cannot recommend it enough. And uh, and it again, it does have, you know, a really nice, nice guidebook. Um, we won't discuss how much I use that, but it's there. Okay, so now we have the Orion's Tarot deck. Now this is the independent version. So I can't speak to um, the mass market because I don't have it. Um, I love that. But this is this is a gorgeous deck. <clears throat> love the box 
and this is a, a kind of darker, you know, the, the, the tones used are darker, but they, they did such a good job in, in contrasting the colors so that so that the energy kind of comes to life um, I mean look at that now I tend not to um, I definitely don't gravitate toward um, animal decks I don't seek them out uh, I love red pandas are one of my favorites um, but there are some like this one that just that just call to me this is such a wonderful deck um, it's got a really interesting energy overall so this isn't like um, this isn't one that I use every day um, it's just yeah it's just not but I'll, I'll never get rid of it because sometimes it just I just need this energy in my life I, I don't know if that makes sense but it's um, it's a wonder I mean it's super easy to read um, it's it's really just a delight and um, and I love it and and this is available in mass market I don't know how it compares to this version um, I think I think I heard that there are extra cards in the mass market actually or, or changes or something I don't know I don't know I'm sure I'm sure someone has done a comparison um, but I don't have it so I can't look at that Oh man, yeah. So this is this is a fabulous deck, and if you're a big animal deck person, <clears throat> can't recommend this enough. Um, it's definitely got a really earthy vibe, um, <clears throat> but it's there's something more than that too. I can't can't put my finger on it, but. Um, It's a, it's a lovely, lovely deck. Love him. Okay. So next, let's do the True Black Tarot. Oh, this deck. This deck is absolutely exquisite. I mean, it's like a museum piece. I mean, it's just beautiful. So these are the backs. Now, these cards are a bit more... Um, I don't want to say simple because that's not fair and it's, it's not accurate. But it's almost like... Like it's condensed, right? But the interesting thing is um, on a lot of the cards, not all of them, there's there's additional... I don't know how well this is going to show up. But there's, there's so much more going on in these cards than you may notice at first glance. So there's a, a special depth that's there especially if you if you spend a little time with them these are the cardstock it feels amazing um, and they are uh, um, they definitely came um, with the black edges this is just I don't know how all well this is picking up there's so much here Oh, there we go. Let's see. And this is really, 
an incredible deck and and it really is to me just a work of art um, this isn't one that I've used for other people but you know I feel like I could so maybe I should start um, I oh I'm sorry I do uh, I do use it for myself and it's just it's it's got its own it's got its its own very distinctive voice you know and um, it's really really got some very incredible evocative imagery that just it just makes it such a joy to use um, yeah I really really love it it's so different from anything else that I have which um, I enjoy look at that oh, man. it's just a wonderful deck um, highly recommend it I I honestly have no idea if this is still available or or what I I feel like um, you know there are there are newer editions I don't know if they're changed at all so this was from 2018 so I don't know I think I remember seeing maybe an updated version or something but I could be wrong next we have Heartful Spirits Tarot. I love this deck so much. And it's it's very different from my other decks. Um, but again, that's a great thing. So, these are the backs. And I did edge it. Um, and this is a deck that, that does have keywords. So if you're looking for keywords. So it's got, it's got an upright and a reversed um, I, I tend to forget they're there and in fact I didn't realize when I ordered this you actually have two choices you can purchase the version with keywords or without I just purchased the first one I saw because I absolutely fell in love and this is a deck that I use over and over and over again um, it's, it's one of my all time favorites and it's just Oh, I just love it. I love the colors. I love the imagery. And again, it, it's kind of simple, but it just it just draws me in. And I really, really love it. It just makes me happy, you know? This is a deck that just makes me happy. And it's a joy to use. Um cardstock is great this was a um oh i don't know if it'll say um i feel like this was like a oh here game crafter so this was on game crafter probably still is um and i i love their cardstock i have no issues with it you know it's not super thick but it is super durable super easy to shuffle um yeah, and, and I find that um, with a deck like this, when there's not a lot um, of stuff in there going on, I can be drawn into just like a like the swirls of the colors. Um, just, I mean, something about like this pattern. It really allows for a very expansive reading. Like, the, the patterns here, you know, and I mean, it, it absolutely depends on the moment where my eyes are drawn. But because there's all this color and all these different strokes and things it just really allows me so much more 
possibility in each card to for, for what I see, for what I feel, than I would have thought. Still three swords and a heart, but and, and if you haven't seen my other videos, I just kind of, um, I, I don't remember which one it was, but one of my, my deck um, collection videos talked about how even decks that are like totally different, like that's an interesting eight ones, but somehow the three of swords, always three swords sticking through a heart, and I just want something different, that's all I'm saying, but um, I it doesn't matter for this deck, it's, it's one, I love that. It's just a wonderful, wonderful deck. It's got a fabulous energy, and it just, it just feels nice and warm and welcoming. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So, um, it is the Heartful Spirits Tarot, and it should still be available on Game Crafter. So, next... Medieval Europe Tarot. Oh, uh, this, is, this is another one of my favorites. Um, I And I'm so excited because the people who made this um, see, I don't know if it's the same artist though, but it's, it's from the same uh, group have a Kickstarter deck that is coming soon, I believe. And it's like the the Japanese Poetry Tarot. And I back that. I'm so excited for that deck. But anyway. Um, this is the backs. So it came with like a nice light gilding. Now the funny thing is. Before I got this deck. I saw someone post. Um, I think on Facebook. About how they changed this. And, and basically turned it white. So it wasn't so glaring. And I thought, oh, that is so much better. And I think I even commented on it. But now that I have this deck for myself, um, I don't feel the need to change it. it. I don't know. I there's The imagery is so powerful to me. I don't really notice this. It's like when I have uh, some decks with keywords, I generally don't notice them. I just get lost in the image. And... Uh, the, the card stock is phenomenal. I love this. I love to shuffle it. And it's a big honking deck. And I like that. You know, I have big hands though. But look at that death card. I mean, that's just... Oh, it's just incredible. It really, really is. So, um, yeah, this is one of my favorite decks. I use this to read for others. I use it for myself. Um... It, you know, there is some some imagery that's a little bit more raw, so it would depend on the client. You know, I would just make sure that um, they weren't bothered by, by such things. Um, and you can get a feel for that, you know. And um, generally, I, I give them a couple choices of decks anyway, but sometimes, sometimes like a certain deck just seems to call to, to someone, so, um, but this is just, oh, look at this, this is just a fabulous deck, there's so much to dive into, um, there, there's so much meaning, there are some, um, extra cards, I love that devil. It's just, man, there's so much. Let's see if we could find. And I, I think there were some alternative cards, but I could be wrong. So I've had this um, a while. But, uh, yeah, I really, really love it. And this is one that, um, you know, I kind of binge it. So I'll use it for for a while and like for almost everything, you know. And then I'll, I'll put it away for a while cuz you know, I want to use other decks, but I always come back to it. I always come back to it and I just love it. It gives um 
really amazingly detailed readings. Like, I just get so much from these cards. Um, yeah, I, I just absolutely love it. So, next. Oh, and the, the guidebook. The guidebook. Oops. Bear showing because this is like a um, like a velvety kind of um, suede feel. So nice. And I mean, look at that. They really, they're, the quality is just absolutely incredible. I mean, it really, really is. And yeah, I'm, I'm just so in love with this deck. Next, this is the Japanese Anime Tarot, and this was another Kickstarter. I feel like this one's still available um, to you know to buy now that it's it's ended. It's by um, Luna Factory. This is, I love, I love anime. Um, so I love the backs. That's the, it's a little book. Good luck reading that. I'm just saying. My eyes cannot. So, but it's super cute. All right. This is just a fun deck. Um. It's really, it's really cute. It's really sweet. This is a great deck for, for people that, um, you know, sometimes I might get, especially, you know, some younger clients in who are really into anime. So this can be a really great deck for them. Um, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun deck. But that said, um, you know, it's, it's really easy to read. Um, I, I, I wouldn't um, dismiss this as, as being um, like a fluff deck. Uh, I think that um, I think that you know you can use this however is right for you. Um, it's you know it's not a heavy deck. Right, but that doesn't make it any less legitimate or useful. Um, and it's it's just a sweet, fun deck, you know. This can be a good deck to use too if someone is um, if someone is coming in with with a heavier issue. What I like to do is, you know, it depends, but. If somebody's really down, right, you can't just throw sunshine at them because it, it's too foreign, right? So to me, I would use like a bridge deck that's maybe got a little bit of darkness, but a little bit of light, and then maybe use this at the end to help bring some sun in. Um, and I think this is a really good deck for that. Um, yeah, I just, I really like it. I like the imagery. Um, and, and if you're an anime fan, this may be a great deck for you. So. Marshmallow Marseille. Love this deck. I think this is... Uh, it's definitely one of the first Marseille decks that I really... Um, really enjoyed using. Put it that way. Um, I did... 
kind of edge it. You can't really see. It's like a light silver. It doesn't matter. But um, this is such a sweet deck. I love the colors. I love the size, the shape, you know. It's just a delight. Um, I really enjoy using it. Um, Marseille is not my um, style of choice, I guess. Um, you know, everything being equal. The, it's not the, the style that I read with the most. But, um, you know, sometimes I just kind of want to use it. And, um, you know, you know I, I like to change things up. I will absolutely use this for others. Use it for myself. Um, I love the, uh, love the, the symbolism and, and the, the colors. It's just, it's just a really lovely, lovely deck. Um, yeah. Recommend it. Um, and they do have, um, another one that I think is, uh, is sea-based, uh, mermaid-based, something like that. And I almost, yeah, uh, Sirene. So it's, um, so I, I came close, but I do have a mermaid tarot, and, you know, I'm not super into mermaids, so I didn't feel that I needed another one. Um, love them. But in the backs, though, man, I am a sucker for a good back. But I, <laughs> this deck is so much more than the backs. But, and the box is fabulous. I just, I love this. Now this deck, so this is Tarot of the Holy Spectrum. Ooh, I'm pulling you away. Um, I was really, really excited for this deck. I love the concept. Um, the only thing is, well, let me show you. So the backs are just a plain black, which I love. Edges are black. The thing about this deck for me is the colors don't I love the use of colors I love the idea but they don't quite jive for me not not in all cases I mean some sure but other ones I just feel like for me, the colors aren't quite right, and it's enough, it's, it's kind of just jarring to me, and it's enough that it really prevents me from using this deck, and um, it's a shame, because it's a, it's a lovely deck, it's got great cardstock, and I want to to really enjoy it and I just it's jarring to me that's the best way I can think to describe it and I've put it away and come back to it put it away and come back to it and I'm I'm not ready to let it go I don't think but I probably should but I'm still kind of holding out a hope that um at some point, it'll work for me, but honestly, I don't know. I, I have a feeling 
that at some point this deck is going to have to move on. Um, I love this though. I just, um, I like this one too. It, I don't know. It's not every card either. You know, it's, it's certain cards. The colors just, it just don't work for me. So, but I mean, it's a beautiful deck. It's a really well-made deck. Um, this is the back. I just, I'm just not digging it. Um, yeah. So, and, and even now going through it, I just, it's just not sparking any interest in using it. So, I'll give it a little more time and, and maybe, you know, um, put forth a real effort into working with it and then kind of go from there. But I have a feeling that one's going to move on. Now we have the Heroin Tarot, which is just wonderful. It's a wonderful deck. And this, pretty sure, was a Kickstarter. Um, it's definitely independent. Um, but I think it was a Kickstarter. Look at these backs. And then with the, with the, with the holographic kind of silvery. I love it. So this is, um, it's, it's basically, it's all women. And, um. It's, it's like high fashion women, which I really enjoy. Um, and the creator did such a fabulous job of using the fashion to create the energy, I think. And the hair and the postures, you know, it's just, <laughs> I love that. I love this deck. It's, it's a really enjoyable deck, but at least she has more more going on than just that but uh, I love this I love this so much um, yeah this is just an incredible deck um, but again it is it is all women so um, you know there are some who could be sort of but I mean you know um, but it's I mean it is the heroin tarot right so um, it it absolutely lives up to its name. Um, and I am here for it. So if you're looking for a deck with a lot of feminine, powerful energy, I think this is a great deck. Man, I love this. I love all of these. Um, oh, look at that. It's just... Just a wonderful deck. And, and I feel like the different styles kind of take you through the ages too, at least a little bit. I mean, it could certainly be all modern, but there are callbacks to, you know, earlier, earlier times, which I really enjoy. Um, it, it, to me, it, it creates that timeless feel. I love her so much too. But yeah, this is just a wonderful deck. Um, This is, this is such a great Five of Swords. It's just wonderful. And I could... This is another one I could just look at all day. Yeah. But we're not going to do that. So... Just to, but man, it's a great deck. Great, great deck. And next, let's do. Oh, that you know, I moved the camera, and now the wire is completely in my way. But uh, next is the Hidden Waters Tarot, and this is second edition. 
and um, this deck is so brilliant. This is um, Anatorian, and just fill these out. So the these are the backs. The idea for this deck, absolutely brilliant. So these are basically like ink blots. And, um, this is a wonderful deck for intuitive reading, for, for enhancing your intuition. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is not a deck that I use for other people. Um, for me, this is a deck that, that I really have to dive into and spend some time with. Um, although, yeah. I mean, just like anything else, it depends, right? Sometimes I'll just kind of glance at a card and boom, I'm there. But a lot of times I really need to give myself time and, and get absorbed. This is a wonderful deck for self-work. This is, um, and, and it doesn't get talked about that much, and I don't know why. I mean, it is a bit older, so maybe this, this one is from 2017. Um... But, yeah, this is a fabulous deck. And it, it's really a brilliant concept um, and, and executed perfectly, you know? And I think I had to get this from... Uh, I don't think it says, but I, I feel like this was a... kind of make playing cards type. I could be wrong. Um, I I think I went to her her Etsy shop and maybe got directed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But if you're interested, I would definitely check her Etsy or, or check her webpage. Um, because I I think I hope this is still available. Um, because it's just a fabulous fabulous deck. And the quality is wonderful. And um, I, I just find it to be really powerful. Really powerful. And it's great to use for just like a one card pull. But it's also great to do a larger spread with. So, and sometimes when I use it for, for um, bigger spreads, it's like... I don't even know how to describe it. It's like the cards just kind of um, pull together and and create just just something so completely new. It's just really really incredible. So next is the white fly tarot. Um, now this <laughs> the you got to kind of pull the top apart. It does have a little little book. Yeah, good luck reading that, too. I'm just saying. Um, I, I don't use the book. I don't care. Um, super cute box. I love these backs. Oh, these backs are so gorgeous. Um, I love the feel of the cards. Now, this is a deck I got... Um, I think I got this on Indiegogo. I tend not to use them too much, but every so often there's a deck there, and it's, I don't see it on Kickstarter. So, um, and I actually just saw that this deck is um, available. It might be kind of limited, but if you're interested, um, I think you can still get it from the creator. Look at him, man! I love this card. Um, yeah. It's, you know, the artwork's a little, a little different than my normal, but I'm okay with that. It reads wonderfully, and, and it's kind of different between the cards, too. Um, but for this deck, I don't, I don't mind it. Um, you know, sometimes I do, but not this one. 
This is a really great deck. And I... It's a really interesting deck. You know? Um, it's a really interesting kind of perspective on some of the cards. Which I like because, you know, it just broadens my perspective. You know, when, when I see things or see things in ways. Look at this. This is a fabulous card. Um, that maybe I hadn't before. And I mean, I've been reading tarot for more decades than I care to count. And, um, and to, to suddenly see something so differently is, is a gift. You know, so I really enjoy this deck. I really do. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a fabulous deck. It really, really is. And I really just enjoy it. So that is the White Fly Tarot. And if you get it, the key with opening the box is just gently pulling the sides of the lid and it'll fall out. Um, but if, if you try to just pull it, you're never going to get it. So, <laughs> just a little, little helpful hint. Um, and it is getting late, but let's... Um, Go to the Ocean Tarot. Now, um, the author, Taylor Brin, has another deck on Kickstarter called uh, Myths and Legends. And I want to encourage everybody to back that because I want that deck to happen. This is an incredible deck. I love the gilding. love the backs. I love just the way it looks and feels. Um, the cards are just really incredible. You know, her, her artwork is just beautiful. Um, I really, really like the choices that she made for the cards. <laughs> the only one is the, the sunfish for the sun. I mean, I get it. But ages ago, there was a, a Reddit um, post about the sunfish and why it's like the worst thing alive. And it's hysterical. I highly recommend that too. But um, that's all I can think when I see that. But that said, it's a, it's a fabulous, fabulous deck. I really enjoy it. It's got that, that wonderful deep sea feel. Um, you know, this except for, except for things like this, where it's you know obviously um, up on the surface, but but for the most of this, this is like that part of the ocean that we never get to see, right? It's it's too deep for us. That's how I feel about it, anyway. Um, you know, and you have these these hidden kingdoms and these um, special places and moments, you know, within the sea, and it's just got such a great feel, and um, how it's just, it's beautiful and wonderful, um, reads really easily, love the magician, um, and it's a great thought. It's, you know, I think this is a great deck to use for yourself, for anybody else. Um, especially if, if they like um, oceanic type things, whether it's just, you know, swimming in the ocean or they're really interested in marine life or what have you. Still, though, still, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great, I love this. I love the hangman. It's, it's a great deck. Um, highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend that you check out her new Kickstarter because 
um, I think that deck's going to be even more amazing. Um, so yeah. Love that. And let's try to do, let's try to do just a couple more. Um, cause at this rate, I'm going to need at least two more parts. And then I have Oracle decks. I have so many Oracle decks. So I thought I would do a segment on my Oracle decks after this. So, but this is the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. I love this deck. I really love it. This is just the... Um, love the backs. Love it came with that nice mat. This is a fabulous, fabulous deck. I love the feel of the cards. They're just wonderful quality. This is extremely evocative and, and beautiful. It's a beautiful deck. And, oh man, I mean, look at this. And, and again, the artwork is not... Um, one that I would normally go for. Um, some of the... Some of the people are just... It's so good. It almost looks like a picture. Um, and normally that I don't care for that. But in this deck, it works. You know, and, and I really like it. Um, so that, for me, was a hesitation when I first saw it. And I thought, well, you know, it's not really my thing. And I'm so glad I ignored that. Look at this magician. You know, you can feel the, the power building, right? And it's right about to come into being. Whatever, you know. It's just wonderful. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm so, so glad that I broke through that initial hesitation. Because it reads so beautifully. And it's, you know, it's a, a feast for the eyes. Really, I, oh, I love them there with the bird. It's just a wonderful deck. I mean, it really is. These guys have a new um, deck coming out. That uh, this is Taroteca Studio. Um, I forget the name of it, but it looks amazing. So um, I, I think I'm gonna have to pick that up. Look at that empress. This is uh, maybe one of my favorite empresses. She just. <sighs> She's so, everything's so lush, and she's got that, that kind of peaceful, happy confidence, and you can tell that, man, she, she's kind of a badass, right, but she doesn't need to exert that, you know, she, I, I just love her, I love, love, love this deck, can't say enough about it, it's just a joy. Um, use this for others, use this for myself, and it, it's just wonderful. Oh, look at this. She's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, it's just a fabulous deck. So, and I guess we should kind of come to a halt here. I don't want to keep you too long, but um, I, I hope you enjoyed and maybe found something new to you or, or something that sparks your interest or, or maybe confirms that a deck isn't for you and that's okay too. Um, please like, share, subscribe if, if you enjoyed this at all because this is a new channel and and absolutely everyone counts and i'd really love to hear from you what did you like what would you like to see more of what would you like to see changed you know and if there are any decks that you are interested in you'd like to see more of maybe see a a full walkthrough or or a deep dive of it or if you'd just like to see it in action and a reading just let me know, and I'm really happy to do that for you. And until next time, have a wonderful day, and be wonderful to yourself, because you deserve it.